this video, we will be taking a detailed look at the Shimano Altegra RT800 Isotec Freezer Disc Rotors. As you can see, I've bought a pair, so we won't repeat it twice. First, let's have a detailed look at the box. Isotec Freezer Technologies, got center lock, got aluminium cooling fins, for resin and metallic pads, and for drop bar bikes. Uh, and I've purchased the pair at 160mm in size. The rear of the box has no particular interesting details, just distributor information and barcodes. A product of Japan, so these are the higher end Shimano stuff that's always made in Japan. And there's not much interesting information on the rest of the packaging, so let's move ahead and uh, get this unboxed, shall we? In the UK, these retail for £52, but I picked them up from Wiggle with the platinum discount for £45.75. So opening the packaging, as usual with Shimano, it's relatively modest and mostly recyclable. So we just got some plastic cellophane sleeves to protect the actual disc itself. The rest can go in a recycling bin. One fact I stumbled across whilst uh, looking into buying a second set of discs was that the center lock nuts aren't included on all the other brands mostly. So Shimano throws it in for free. So whilst the initial cost may be a bit higher, you have to account for that cost if you're building a second set of wheels and buy a second set of center lock nuts. As you can see we have some instructions here which say go to the website. I'm pretty sure they should start printing this on the box now. Um, it makes more sense to me uh, rather than printing something out and wrapping it up in a bit of cellophane. So that's what I advise Shimano to do. So let's have a detailed look at these components. The center lock nut is made from aluminium in hand, it feels quite light, it has a little retaining ring in there as well. Onto the disc, as you can see, construction is sandwiched of aluminium and steel for the actual braking track. We have an aluminium center lock rotor that's riveted into place. Looking around the outside of the disc, we have various printed information on it, made in Japan and the rotation direction. 160 millimeter diameter and the minimum thickness of the usable discs, which is 1.5 millimeters. I'm advertising there Shimano Ice Freezer Technology and RT800, which is the Altegra level part number. On the rear, there's no printed information really, but we get to see how the disc is assembled with some rivets going through. They're pretty nice and low profile, they're not serviceable, so once the outer disc is worn out, it is replacement time and you put the whole assembly in the bin, I'm afraid. So I'm going to grab a magnet and just run it round the, the disc and see what's steel and what's aluminium. So braking track is a magnetic steel, cooling fins aluminium, rivets also uh, steel, and the spider itself is aluminium. So there we go, the only real magnetic bits are the outside braking track and the rivets. Onto the, the center lock nut and that is all aluminium, so nice and lightweight. And we have this sort of uh, uh, shim steel, uh, anti-friction, anti-unlocking -un mechanism on there. So you can see the serrations there, so when you tighten this up, it, it dents the shim steel and locks your rotor into place once you torque it up to 40 newton meters. It's best to remove this warning sticker at this stage because they're a pain in the ass to remove once you put them on the bike. Uh, it's easy to manoeuvre it by hand, so yeah, just playing some fast forward for you. And finally onto the scales, and let's see how much these uh, rotors weigh. So 123 grams for the rotor itself, and the other rotor, 124, so pretty close there. The lock ring is 8, and the other lock ring is 9. Again, pretty close. So that makes an assembly of 132 grams. And let's compare it to the other one. It should be lighter, but it's not. It's 132 grams. So they're right on the margins of being one or the other. So I think that's pretty good. 132 grams for a disc rotor and locking nuts myself. That weight is only four grams over what is advertised and actually very close to Durace, which weighs in at 126 grams for the 160 rotors. And considering that's a six gram difference, I don't think the price jump to the Dura Race is worth it. So anyhow, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.